Hello everyone, this is Sohail. Welcome to my channel, Sacred English Academy. Today, I will talk about the types of visa that Canada offers to you. Before starting with the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading more videos in the upcoming days. So let's begin. Basically, Canada provides you two types of visa, that is temporary visa and permanent visa. If I talk about temporary visa, Temporary visa is that visa in which Canada allows you to enter to the country and stay for the temporary basis. It can allow you to stay there for 3 months, 6 months or any year. But if I talk about the permanent visa, as it is clear from the name, that permanent visa allows you to stay there permanently. So I will be explaining these visa in detail. Talking about the temporary visa, it has different categories under this. A tourist visa, a student visa, a working holiday visa, business visa or a super visa. Beginning with the tourist visa, tourist visa is that visa through which you can enter the Canada as a tourist. Many people match it with a visitor visa but there is a little difference among both. As yet it is clear from the words that visitor visa is for visiting someone in the Canada. You have to mention the person uh, whom you are visiting in the Canada to the embassy. You have to mention it to the embassy before entering the Canada. But in case of tourist visa, you have to mention uh, about the tour you are going to have in the Canada. You have to uh, write in, in the statement of purpose that uh, where you are traveling, when you are traveling, uh, what places you will be visiting and so on. So let's talk about the student visa. You might be known to this visa. This visa is used for the higher education in the Canada. Like you are in Can uh, India and you want to study in Canada, you want to go for the bachelor degree, master degree and other degrees as well. So you have to apply for the student visa. Many students from India has gone to the Canada already and many are deciding to go there. Okay, it is a very uh, simple visa for you. So let's talk about the super visa. So this is something which people usually don't know. Super visa is basically for the parents and the grandparents. For the people who want to visit their children or the grandchildren who are living in the Canada. This is a super visa and this is basically for this purpose only. While talking about the business visa, as it is clear from the name, that business visa is for the business purpose only. If you want to visit the Canada for some dealing or some meeting for which is related to your business, it is known as business visa. So the last one is working holiday visa. Working holiday visa is for the young people living in the different countries who can enter the Canada for a seasonal work. It can be of 6 months, 7 months, 8 months and so on. So these are the temporary visas. Moving on to permanent visas, it also has different categories under this. I'll be explaining these categories one by one. Beginning with the Investor Immigrant Visa. This visa is for the investors who have the net worth of at least $800,000 or I would say $8 lakh. He must invest about 50% of his investment that is $400,000 or $4 lakh to the Canadian government and the government will allow him to stay in the Canada permanently. Canadian government would also return this amount to the person who has invested within the 5 years without any interest. Moving on to next program, it is Startup Visa Program. You are eligible for this program if you are having a net worth of 300,000 or 3 lakh dollars. It must be a Canadian dollar and you must contribute to the one third of a Canadian business and create and maintain employment within the 3 years for being in Canada. It is also a permanent visa. Next is Quebec Selected Skill Work Permit or Work Program. This visa is for those people who have a specific skill or the skill is required in the Quebec which is a province of Canada. You can go through this program and enter the Canada permanently. For this purpose you need to be fluent in the French language. Apart from this there is a visa which is family sponsorship visa. 
This visa allows the spouses and the dependent children of the permanent resident or the citizen of the Canada to enter the Canada and stay in Canada permanently. Moving on to the next program which is live in caregiver program. This program is for those people who are qualified as a caregiver and take care of the elderly, disabled or the children and live in a room in a Canada. Last but not the least, it is an express entry program. It is an electronic immigration program designed by the Canadian government for the skilled or the semi-skilled people. You can enter the Canada as a permanent resident. All you have to do is provide your detail to the Canadian government and this government makes a draw each month in which they are given a cut-off score. If your score is above the cut-off, it will invite you to apply for the permanent resident. Your score is based on your qualification, your skill, your experience, your language proficiency scores. To, uh, making the total, if it is above the cutoff, then the government will invite you to apply for the permanent resident. It is quite famous these days. Many people have got their permanent resident through this program. And even now, the government requires more people from different countries. As Canada is a very big country and it is not filled, its population is very less, it still demands many people. So these are the different kinds of visa. Now I want you to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because in the upcoming days I will be making more videos about the visas and the immigration. And one more thing, this video is only for the awareness. I'm not getting any monetary gains and I don't want these monetary gains from these videos. So stay tuned to my channel, like the video, share the video, comment down in the comment section that on which topic you want me to make the video. Thank you.